Now for this part of the question, we're told that the curve with equation y equals f of x has a minimum point p. And we've got to show that the x-coordinate of p is the solution to this equation here. x equals 3 plus sine of half x all divided by 2. Now to do something like this, we've got to first of all find the gradient at any point x on this curve, which is given by differentiating it with respect to x. And then for a minimum point I would expect that gradient to equal 0. So I'll be able to rearrange the equation and hopefully get this equation here. So that's an outline of how I'm going to go about this. So first of all then we need to differentiate this with respect to x. So we have f dash x. And if we differentiate x squared with respect to x we get 2x. Differential of minus 3x with respect to x is minus 3. Now when you get to this term here to differentiate the cosine of half x, you might know the result straight away. If not, you have to do it by the chain rule. And so to differentiate 2 cos of a half x, if I was to call this t, say we get plus 2 times the differential of cos t, which is minus 2 sine t, t being a half x. And then we need to multiply all of this by the differential of t, t being the half x. Differentiate half x with respect to x and you get a half. Okay, so that's the chain rule for that part. And if we tidy this up, you've got 2x minus 3 and then minus 2 times this half just gives us minus 1, minus 1 lot of sine of a half x. Okay, so we've got the gradient at any point. Now we just need to say at a minimum point, let's just say min point, at a min point, f dash x must be equal to zero. So therefore we have this equation, 2x minus 3 minus the sine of a half x must equal zero. And if we were to add 3 and add sine of a half x to both sides, we end up with 2x equaling 3 plus the sine of a half x. And clearly now if we divide both sides by 2, we end up with what we had to prove, that x equals 3 plus the sine of a half x, all divided by 2. All right.